question. Jaden asked to me yesterday, I don't know if you were paying attention when he asked the question, but he said, I just graphed the two lines and I got parallel lines. What does that mean? So most of the time, and it'll happen here as well too, most of the time if you graph two lines, they intersect. If they intersect, the answer is always the point where they intersect. Occasionally you get parallel lines. They never intersect. So the answer is no solution. There's one other thing that can occur. You're like, how could this ever occur? And that's when you graph the first line and you graph the second line and it's literally the same line. That's infinite solutions. How many places do they touch? Everywhere, right? Typically, lines only touch at one spot. That's one solution. If they're parallel lines, they never touch, no solutions. And lastly, if you graph and it's exactly the same line, infinite solutions. That was the only thing I left off on the class yesterday. So as you look at this and the answers, there are two no solution ones. There's no infinite solutions here. Infinite solution rarely happens, um, but there are two no solution ones. So 100%, if you're one of those persons that I called off that you made mistakes and you don't have a clue, you're gonna stop me as I teach this and when we get to the point where you're like, wait, why did you do that? You're going to ask the question. Why did you do that? Why isn't it this instead of this? If you're that person, I say, okay, you kind of got some of this right, some of this wrong. You made silly math mistakes. You need to practice this over and over and over again until you get to the point where you're not making that many mistakes, which is why you're about to do a worksheet that has a lot of problems on it. Remember, each one of these problems requires two tables of pain. So boy, are you going to get some practice on this? Two, three, four. Okay. Hi, erase the board for me, please. It's the 15th, right? Today is the 15th. All right. Here's the first one. Okay. And I said, you're going to ask questions if you're lost. There are two equations. It does not matter which one you do first. Some people are like, oh, I'm going to do the easy one. The second one is easier than the first. Uh, but it truly doesn't matter which one you do first. I'm going to do the top equation first. So the equation starts off with x. Uh, minus 2y, and that's we're told that equals 8. Okay. Jaden said step number one was what? Correct him, what did he say? Is y by itself? What do we need to get rid of always first? X is positive. How do we get rid of it? I saw this on many people's paper. They wrote minus x, minus x. They drew a horizontal bar and then the wheels fell off. If you subtract X from both sides, well, on the left side, the X's go away, but I'm still left with minus two Y. So you write minus two Y. And that equals, well, you can't combine a negative X and an eight. This is where the mistake I saw. For those of you that dropped your negative, this is where you dropped your negative. You wrote X plus eight. Can anyone see or not see that it's negative X plus eight because you subtracted X? So the first mistake generally that I saw was when you subtracted X from both sides. Now remember you could be adding X, but sometimes you're subtracting X. When you subtract X, that means it's gonna stay negative. Yes. You're gonna subtract X. And when it's negative, you're gonna add X. Okay, we are not done because we have a number attached to Y. What's that number? It is not two, it is negative two. So we're gonna divide everything. Here's mistake number two that I saw in papers. Some people divided some of the numbers by negative two. You need to divide everything by negative two. Everything gets divided by negative two. Third mistake, some people messed up the negatives. What happens to the negative two here? And cancel. So you're just left with y. On the other side, what's a negative divided by a negative? So we get a 
x over 2. The negative went away. I saw that mistake. Negative divided by negative, and somehow it stayed negative. What's positive 8 divided by negative 2? Negative 4. Okay? So I'm going to put a box around it. There's my equation. That's the first one. Remember, we got to do two. Table of pain. We have to pick at least three points. Do we have a fraction? Yes or no? Uh, fourth mistake. Uh, Priscilla, you made the mistake, or whoever I said picked bad numbers, right? Uh, maybe it wasn't Priscilla. Um, Priscilla, what numbers are we going to pick because of this two? Okay, you were the one that made the mistake then. There was other people too, pun intended. We're going to pick that number. Normally, we're going to pick negative one, zero, one. But on this particular one, because there's a fraction, we don't want to deal with fractions. So you're going to pick negative two. Where did I get that number from? I'm looking at the denominator. It's two. It's negative two, zero, two. Uh, just so you know, you could pick negative four, zero, four. You're picking a number that's divisible by two. So the fraction goes away. You could pick negative six, zero, six. Now notice this graph doesn't go to negative six. So you got to be uh, careful of what numbers you pick. Okay. If there's a fifth mistake, and this is the hardest one to have you not make, it's the, okay, now I got to plug those numbers in and not make a mistake. There's a lot of stuff going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this negative 2, and I'm going to plug it in for x, because remember, this column is x. Uh, this column is your y, and the middle is where you do your scratch work. Some people don't do any scratch work. I saw that on, I don't know, a couple people. I said, hey, you got this. They did no work. They did the whole thing in their head. Uh, if you're smart enough to do that, great. Right? If you're not smart enough to do that, don't do that. Write it out. I'll let you decide whether you need to write it out or not. So let's see, let's plug in negative two for X. So I'd get a negative two over two. I'm getting that from plugging it into the X value, minus four. For those of you that didn't need to do that, then you just do that in your head. For those of you doing it in your head, they're saying this, negative two divided by two is, minus four is. So clearly some of you can do that in your head. Others of you might need to off to the side, write all that out. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. And we're going to stop right there. And this is where I said you got to be brave. Who's clueless right now? I have no idea what you did. I don't know where your numbers are coming from. I don't even know what, what happened. There is no one in this class. Okay, Genevieve, where, where did I lose you? Where? Are we okay with solving for y? Okay. Now, all I'm doing is picking three numbers. The three numbers you typically pick are negative 1, 0, and 1. They're just the easiest number to do math with. Okay. We're picking x values to plug into our equation for x. Because there's a fraction here, if I had chosen 1, 1 divided by 2 is a half. A half minus 4 is what? Negative 3 and a half. Who wants to deal with fractions? Okay, so we choose numbers that will make the fraction go away. In other words, multiples of two. Well, the easiest multiple of two is two. So we pick negative two, zero, and two instead of negative one, zero, one. Does that make sense? All I'm doing is looking at the denominator. Now I'm going to plug the numbers in one at a time. Negative two is the first number. So here I'm plugging negative two in for x. So I get negative two over two minus four. That's what I wrote right here. And then I do the math. Negative two divided by two. So here's my scratch work off to the side. And then we have minus 4. See what I got the minus 4 from? Hey, same signs means add. 1 plus 4 is 5. We're adding negatives, so the answer is negative 5. Okay? Nate? Hey, we love 0 because when you throw in 0, what do you always get? No, you get whatever number is over here. So we get negative 4. Because 0 divided by 2 is 0, 0 minus 4 is minus 4. Now, Genevieve, we're going to do the same thing except we're plugging in positive 2. So we get a positive 2 
over two. I'm getting that from looking at the equation right here, minus four. Scratch work off to the side. Two divided by two is one. Minus four, Genevieve, would be negative three. Remember, same uh, signs are different, so you subtract big minus small, three. More negatives, more positives. We got more negatives, so negative three. Okay. There are my three points. Now I graph those three points. Negative two, negative five. I really thought that I would see someone who got the right answer and plotted their points wrong. I saw not a single person in this class make that mistake. I usually see that mistake. Everyone knows how to graph points. Congratulations, good on that. Uh, the problem was you got crazy points. That's why yours didn't work. Uh, zero, negative four is right here. And uh, two, uh, negative three is right here. Uh, I think you can see where the nice, nice line would appear. All right, are we okay up to that point? I'll do this one in blue. Okay, second equation. That's this one right here. What are we going to do, Brecton? Second equation? First step. What are we going to do? Subtract 2x. We're going to subtract the whole darn thing. So what should I write? Keep, keep talking. Okay, did you add or subtract that 2x? So is it going to be a positive 2x or a negative 2x? There was, I saw that mistake on your quiz. So you should get y is equal to negative 2x plus 1. Be care. I mean, if you make that as your mistake, guess what you just did for the entire table of pain? It's all going to be jacked up and you do all that work for nothing because you didn't solve for y first. Correctly, I should say. Okay, so we get y is equal to negative 2x plus 1. Uh, who are we on? Priscilla, do we have any fractions? So what three numbers are we going to pick? That's right. Uh, just so you know, and usually this is where I get a lot of kids to do this, you want to pick one, two, three, you can. For some reason, kids like, well, one, two, three is way easier. No, it's not, but somehow I can't convince kids that. You want to pick one, two, three, or zero, one, two, you can. I'm always going to pick negative one, zero, one, because they're the easiest numbers. Okay. Uh, if there was a six mistake, it was when there were negatives involved. Hey, this says negative two. Uh, I saw plenty of people. They're like, well, that negative two will make that negative number go away, and I'm not going to put in a negative number. It says negative two times X. So it would be negative two. Well, the number I'm trying to multiply by is a negative one. For some reason, you know, students would leave off that negative one. Oh, that's a horrible looking thing, but you get the idea. Uh, plus one. What's negative two times negative one? Plus one. What? Okay. Negative two times negative one is? Plus one is three. I almost wrote a two. You're going to stop me if you're lost. No one's stopping me. Okay. Why do we like to throw in zero? So what's the answer? That was easy. Uh, zero times negative two is zero. Plus one is one. Let's see. Let's throw in a one. Negative two times positive one is negative two plus one is negative one. All right, I did that one quick. Questions? I got three points, now we're gonna graph them. Negative one, positive three, way up here. Zero one, way down here. 
and one negative one right here. Can you see where they intersect? Okay, I'm gonna try to, this is not what you're gonna do. I don't have a straight line tool, right? Uh, you're not gonna do what I'm doing, which is freehanding it. You're gonna use a straight edge so that when you draw it, it won't look as janky as mine does. Therefore, where do they intersect? Two, negative three. Does everyone see that? Flip the paper over, check the work. Does it say two, negative three? Yeah. We just did one problem and that took us, how long? That was easily 10 minutes, right? These will take time. Jaden, why are you asking a question if I said you were not clueless? This is the homework. <laughs> All right. All right, are we good to go, move on? All right, here's our drill. We're gonna solve both equations and then we're gonna let the people try out the table of pains by themselves. And then I'll walk around and help you with the tables, okay? Let's solve the equations together. Hey, number two is probably the hardest one of the entire homework. Anytime you have numbers attached to Y, you get fractions. We're gonna get fractions on this. All right, so let's see. Brecton, first equation, what are we gonna do to both sides? Do what? First step will always be get rid of the X. So what are we gonna to do to both sides? Look at three X, is it, why is this not drawing? Get, look at three X, is it positive or negative? So how do you get rid of it? Subtract three X from both sides. We subtract three X from both sides, we get negative four Y is equal to, well, we were subtracting three X, so negative three X minus four. Brecton, yes or no? Now what, Brecton? It's not a four, look at it. Did you say, so what are we gonna do, everything? Everything by negative four. Everything by negative four. I didn't draw a fraction mark. Everything by negative four. I said this is the hardest one on the paper. And this one is. All right, after we do that, the negative four is cancel. So we're left with y is equal to, what's a negative divided by a negative? So it's three over four x. Negative divided by negative is positive. We're not there yet. We're on three fours. So Kai, what are we doing next? Plus one, because negative four divided by negative four is plus one. Uh, new kids didn't hear the speech that I made last year. I'd made this a couple times. Kai is clueless typically during class. And then whenever we get to quizzes and tests, because he's never afraid to ask questions, right? Some people think, well, as you're making a fool of yourself, he asks a stupid question. Well, you know, you can say there's no such thing as stupid questions. There's plenty of stupid questions, right? Um, it just depends whether you understand something and ask a silly question, or you don't understand something, then there aren't silly questions. But Kai always gets his questions answered. So even though it sounds to us like silly question, he's got a process. He fixes himself and somehow miraculously for every quiz and test, either he's the best cheater in the world and I haven't caught him, right? I don't think that's what's going on, right? He just figures himself out. Jackie, what's negative four divided by negative four? Genevieve. I will try, bothers you, right, okay. So there's my first equation. Let's do the, I said, we're just gonna do the two equations and you're gonna do the table of pain. 
All right, I am picking on Brecton because he made this mistake twice. Brecton, look at the second equation. What are we going to do first? Tell me what to do. There you go. So tell me what to write. Is equal to. What did you just say you did to both sides? So it can't be positive x. You said subtract x, right? So negative x. What's left? Okay. You get picked on until you get it right one time. <laughs> you haven't got it right yet. All right. Um, now what? Everything by two. You got that part. You've said that right three times. So divide everything by two. You, the previous one, you left off the negative four, but you did say divide everything by four. Negative, always. So the twos cancel. We're left with y is equal to? That's not an x. Look at it. Yes. And the issue is this, and why it's a big deal, is that, remember, if you, if you mess up the equation, then your entire table will be wrong because you didn't solve for y correctly. Uh, negative 8 divided by 2 is? Okay. So there are your two equations. All right. Just so you know, uh, what three numbers are we going to pick for the red one? Absolutely not. We're going to pick negative 4, 0, and 4. I told you this is the hard one because it, they're all fractions. And on the blue one, we're going to pick... There you go. Everyone do your table of pain and then graph and see if you get the right answer. And I'm going to walk around and help people now. What? So every time, like every time I'm going to work on this equation, I always either do the wrong number or the I thought like you didn't ask a single question while we're doing it. Well, because I was trying to figure it out. Like every time I see, I do. Do you table pay for that one in the call? Yeah, yeah, by three, and then you can move out of four. The nice thing is, we pick four so that the four actually goes away. Yeah. So it's going to be negative four times negative. Oh, wait. Wait, how'd you get three? Uh, oh, wait. Yeah. So negative four times three is. Yeah. How do you read your number? I would say. one. Hi, are you reading? It's a lot of work, right? We know. I'm about to rage. I look at this. There's a point right here, a point right here. I would go get out. Okay, I'm sleeping. 
I thought you didn't have your phone. I thought you didn't have your phone. I get it on the So then how are you texting Jackson about why I saved her battle? That was like the other night. So you did have so that was like a couple weeks ago. What am I looking at? Look. I did the right. I have a point here, a point here, and point here. So one of those is wrong. Uh, three times four? Twelve. Divided by four? Three. Plus one. That was easy. <laughs> no. That was the last one. Let's do this one. Whoa! Okay. Well, you got one by three divided by four than that. That uh, three plus one is four, not two. We're going to multiply by three, divide by four. Negative four times three. And so I'm just going to recommend that you do scratch work. Like you, so you said negative three times four is negative 12. I'm going to write negative 12. So that I'm going to divide by four. Negative four times three. Negative four times three. So that that's what I would probably recommend you because that's a whole lot of math you need to What is that so struggling on? Like, the right numbers and doing right numbers is easy. Negative one, zero, one, unless there's a fraction. There's a fraction, we look at the denominator. That's okay. If it's two, we pick negative two, zero, two. If it's three, we pick negative three, zero. Oh, but the equation is hard to so is it possible this can be due Oh, yeah, no, okay. So it's going to be times the point I didn't ask. We're not going to be three. 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 Just got to do that. You drop the negative. We have like 15 games to do. So we know the fraction is negative. Yeah, yeah. So it's negative. So a negative. Oh my God, I'm happy. I'm not playing for one of my games. Was that my last game? I have a game. He fell. My birthday's on a Sunday, and I really and next year's my Sunday. I hate my birthday. You were there last night. I got to cheer the game on your birthday. I got a holiday. Oh, oh, yeah. Keep yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's look at the board now. Eh, maybe we should have done an easier one. This was pretty darn hard. So let's see, real quickly. Uh, Negative four times three is negative 12. Divided by four is negative three. What? Plus one is negative two. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. That's, the thing that That's what's on your, your paper. Negative two, though. Oh, yeah, four. Okay. Uh, zero gives us a one. Four times three is 12. Divided by four is three. Plus one is a four. Okay. On this one right here, I saw this on a couple of people paper. It doesn't say X over two, it says negative X over two. 
So when we throw in this negative two, it'd be negative, negative two. That's a positive two. You see the negative? And we're throwing in negative two. So negative, negative two is positive two. Divided by two is one. One minus four is negative three. We throw in a zero. I saw this on everyone's paper. We throw in a two, negative two divided by two is negative one. Minus four is negative five. What's negative two divided by two? Negative one. Negative two divided by two. And negative one minus four is negative five. I'm sorry, Jaden, I wasn't listening. What? So I heard you say negative two divided by negative two is negative one. I was like, that's wrong. I, if I said that, that's clearly wrong. All right. Now we graph our points. Let's see. Negative 4, negative 2 is right here. Uh, 0, 1 is right here. And 4, 4 is right here. Boy, that's a nice line right there. Their other line is negative 2, negative 3. Uh, 0, negative 4. Can you already see what the answer is? Uh, negative four, negative two. I don't even graph the other line. I mean, you can see where it goes. Okay. But if I did, uh, what's the other one? Two, two negative, negative five, five right here. But you can see that it goes here. Do not freehand like I just did. You'll get the wrong answer. Yeah. Uh, on the back, it says negative four. What? Did I graph something wrong? Negative four, negative four. Abby, then you didn't do the wrong math. Oh, yeah, you did do that bad math. Maybe you graphed the points incorrectly. Do you understand why it's two negative five now? Okay, let's throw in two. This is negative, right? So negative two. Divided by two is minus four is negative five. It doesn't have a laser beam in it. I got it. I got it. All right. Let's do an easier one. Uh, somebody look at the uh, schedule. What time do we get out of here? That's why I asked someone look at the schedule. It's on the board right now. Jaden is Jaden is unique. What? 10.05, we don't have enough time to do another one. All right. Hey. That's not a clock. That's a timer. All right, let me see if I can do this real quick to help out Christian. All right, number three. Hold on. Everyone hush, please. Number three would be negative three y minus x equal to negative six. Divide, uh, divide everything by uh, negative three. Quiet, please. Divide everything by negative three. We get x over three plus two. You get that? And I'm going to point out once again, unfortunately, Sid, unfortunately, there's this. If your mistake is on solving the equation, guess what? And unfortunately, all those other steps beyond that, it doesn't matter if you're doing it correct or incorrect. You're guaranteed to get to the wrong answer. You have to solve the equation correctly from the very start. If you don't solve the equation correctly, unfortunately. Are you like, guys, we got new homework now? Yes. Why do you have, oh, we don't have homework. <laughs> oh, no, you had homework last night. I know, I did. Oh, Callie? I'm not doing Okay. All right. Okay, two questions. Is that a Tuesday? What do you mean Tuesday? We're coming back on Tuesday. Yeah, I mean, so like. This be due on Tuesday. Um, when else would it be due? Or we don't have school on Monday. I can read them. No, this is the one we were doing yesterday. No, Landon does have school on Monday, right? Everyone else has break. So I'll that is correct. Just, Jeremy. 
Yeah. Hey, there's way too many people talking. Say again. I can't find a whole day. You can find it between now and then, right? Hey, everyone, listen up. Let me close it on this. Of everything that we do, this is not the hardest. What this is is the most work. Of, and, and frustrating because what will happen is you get one little tiny thing wrong, it throws everything off. So it's those two things. It's frustrating because it is the most work. Okay. What to pass the test in this chapter? By the way, this is the middle of the chapter. We're not even done with it. Right? What you need to be able to do is show me the process correctly, which if I said you were clueless on the quiz, you didn't know the process. You show me the process. And you make a silly mistake, like you drop a negative and you thought it was negative or you add a negative, right? That is a way different mistake than you don't know what you're doing. Like all of a sudden you had a table and you, you never solved for why. So the, the one little uh, apple or carrot I want to offer you is this. Learn the process. It's four steps. Solve for why. Table of values, graph the points, play connect the dots. Okay? The nice thing is you got all the answers right now. Hopefully you'll be able to, over the weekend, you got four nights to get this homework done. Four nights. Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night. Or if you want it during the days, you have three days to get this done. I don't care when you get it done, but you got plenty of time to try the work, Sid. Figure out your mistakes because now you know what the answers are. If you're not getting the answers, clearly there's a mistake. Remember what typically what'll happen is if you make a mistake when you grab three points, you get a V instead of a line. Some of you got that V on the quiz. Okay? Abby? Um, so when you divide, like let's say that was negative. And it was. Oh, well, hold on. Like this, negative three divided by, uh, or divided. Negative x divided by negative three. That would be positive x over three. Because yeah. a negative divided by negative is positive. Okay. All right. I also don't want you to get too frustrated because, like I said, this is the most work that we will do probably the entire book for amount of calculations. All right. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Uh, we ran out of time. I am not collecting the homework. I will collect it on Tuesday. All right, Donovan, any questions? No, thank you. All right, you have a good weekend. Okay, bye, guys. Bye. Uh, I am, uh, I just kind of ran out of time.